大家好，欢迎来到我的频道。Today we are going to be talking about something super interesting: how to learn Mandarin. And since I'm a native Mandarin speaker, I'm going to share my perspectives on how to learn Mandarin and some common mistakes that I've noticed with Mandarin learners. So, without further ado, let's get started. Why do people want to learn Mandarin? What's the motivation? The first reason I think is that Mandarin is one of the biggest languages in the world. There are now over one billion Mandarin speakers in the world. Which means there are Mandarin-speaking people everywhere, so it's common to have a friend, a family, or a colleague that speaks Mandarin, and then you want to speak with them in their own language. The second reason is planning to travel in China, so it's nice to learn some basic Mandarin, which of course will make the trip one thousand times better and much fun. And the fact is, in many places in China, English isn't widely spoken, especially in smaller towns. And Chinese people can seem not really welcoming or not friendly when you have just come to China. Trust me, it's because they don't know how to speak English, or even if they can, they are too shy to speak English with you. So communicating with the locals in Mandarin can make your trip much more fun, and it will be much more appreciated by the locals as well. The third reason I think is the interest in Chinese culture. Maybe you are interested in Chinese web novels, 动画 music, traditional painting, etc. And because the Chinese language is so different from most of the Western languages, learning Mandarin can really help you to have a deeper understanding of our culture. Another reason I think is for working study purposes. Learning Chinese for work or study reasons may require understanding formal Mandarin, which is a little bit different from casual Mandarin. You will need to read and write and speak professionally as well. And let me know in the comment section why do you want to learn Mandarin. I'm so curious about it. So, is Mandarin hard to learn? When I googled the question, most of the answers were yes, and I also had many friends who were learning Mandarin, and they told me how much they struggle with Mandarin. But like any new language, getting started is always challenging. Mandarin is quite different from most of the Western languages, so Mandarin can feel like alien to you if you are a beginner. And the point is, you don't have those familiar references to rely on, which can make the initial stages a bit. Offer because I remember when I was learning Portuguese, I could have a reference on English because they are kind of from the same family. But that's not the case when you want to learn Mandarin. Mandarin characters or hands are a bit separate. Each character is like a little painting with a deep meaning. It's not like English; you write and read in a connected way. So I definitely agree that learning hands at the beginning is. A little bit challenging. You need to master around 1,000 words to be able to read the newspapers or articles. But once you know those 1,000 words, you are already a master of the language. Trust me. Let me give you an example. If you know the word "fei," which means fly, and you know the word "ji," which means machine, then when you see the word "fei ji," you will naturally understand that this means airplane. But this is not the case with English. In English, I need to learn another word called airplane for 飞机 because in Chinese we have tons of words, and the words are a combination of two separate characters. So once you know the basic characters, you don't need to put so much effort in learning new words anymore. And lots of people find it so hard to learn tongues as well. Actually, the tongue is challenge for basic everyone. Even the native Mandarin speakers, you know, in some parts of China, locals can't even distinguish between z, z, s, sh, l, n. Actually, only a small percentage of Chinese people can speak standard Mandarin. I think that's why we have subtitles on Chinese TV shows, right? And to be honest, until today, I can't pronounce. My Chinese name correctly. Somehow I just can't pronounce the word "meng" correctly. Meng, meng. <laughs> I don't know. I just can't do it. And I also have a few friends who are terrible with 
pronouncing n. They always say 去哪里 instead of 去哪里 So don't be too hard on yourself when you are just starting to learn tones. Perfecting them takes time, and maybe you will never make it 100%. But that's fine. The important thing is to start speaking and don't get frustrated. As you practice, your pronunciation will gradually be better. And if you stress too much about the tones at the beginning, then you will get frustrated and you will lose the motivation to learn Mandarin. So as long as you can say it, that's good enough. We can optimize it gradually. So, if you want to learn Mandarin, there are two parts: pronunciation and hands. To learn the pronunciation, you need to learn pinyin first. So, pinyin is the foundation of pronunciation of Mandarin. And if you are a beginner, many sounds in pinyin may sound new to you. Including the four tongues, so you need to practice a lot and learn the pinyin first. That's how we do it as a kid as well every day. <laughs> But you also shouldn't spend too long on pinyin because pinyin is just a tool to learn pronunciation. What you actually want to do is speak the language, so you should focus more on the pronunciation. And pronunciation is in general really important for every language. Having good pronunciation can make you speak. And listen better in the future. And the last thing you want to learn is Hanzi. Most people find it hard to connect the Hanzi with the pronunciation. And I get the pain because when I was a kid, I need to write Pinyin and Hanzi together in order to remember them. And I would recommend allowing yourself a bit more time to learn Hanzi. Trust me, Hanzi is hard. It takes time to learn Hanzi. It takes lots of patience and consistency and Practice to learn how to write hands, and I didn't know how to write my family name until like around 14 years old. So, how to make your pronunciation better? First, in my opinion, you must learn how to use muscle, mouth muscles, and your tongue to pronounce each word correctly. I think it's a nice way to find a video and. Just follow the pronunciation in the video, and a good way is to record your sound and compare it to the original version. Try to correct your pronunciation as much as possible. You know, Mandarin has a fairly limited amount of syllables produced by combining the initials and finals. Once you can speak the combination of the initials and finals. It will be much easier to pronounce the words. I know it's boring to just follow the video and repeat the sounds, but this is how we learn pronunciation as a kid as well. You need a lot of practice in order for your brain and for your muscles, for your tongue to remember how to pronounce each word. And also, like any new language, it's important to have a really massive input at the beginning to train your brain and your. And let your brain get used to the new language. As we all know, a good way is by watching Chinese TV shows, Chinese movies, Chinese dramas, and podcasts. It's so lucky that nowadays we can find all sorts of materials online. So pick something you like, pick something that makes you interested, and try to immerse yourself in a Mandarin environment as much as possible. And the video you choose to watch is important too. For example, if you want to learn professional Chinese, then maybe find something more formal like news. Otherwise, you can choose something like Chinese dramas. Chinese live shows and Donghua to learn casual Chinese. And let me know if you want me to recommend some Chinese dramas, movies, or music that I like. And even though listening is a really great way to learn the pronunciation, we still need to practice and speak the language. And since we have this huge population, you can probably find Chinese in your country. So reach out to them and do something together with them. Most of the Chinese would be so happy to help you, even if you are just a beginner. And just don't be shy; make friends with the Chinese people. Otherwise, if you don't want to go out with them, or if you can't find any Chinese community in your country, you can find Mandarin-speaking people online as well. I often see people from other countries in Xiaohongshu posting to find a Chinese partner, which I think is awesome. You can teach your partner English. French, Spanish, 
whatever your mother language is, and your language partner can teach you Chinese. Of course, there are some other ways to find a Mandarin native speaker. The point is, it's extremely important because speaking to a native speaker can help you correct your pronunciation mistakes and improve your listening skills. Another thing is don't get too frustrated if you have trouble with listening in real life. Not everybody speaks standard Mandarin as I said before, especially in casual, informal settings. There are slams, accents, and personal preferences on vocabularies. And also what I realized is the vocabulary that we use in real life can be so different from the textbooks. For example, we can say 什么傻,什么鬼 for what? And we can say 怎么了,咋了 for what's up. That's why it's so important to put yourself in real life conversations. But as I said, don't get too frustrated if you find that after learning Mandarin for a while, you still can't understand people talking in real life. Just be patient and immerse yourself in Mandarin environment and one day you will be a master of the language. So how to learn Hanzi? There are actually two versions of Hanzi, simplified and traditional. Me personally, I learn simplified Chinese and it's a bit more time consuming for me to read traditional Chinese. So if you are not sure which version you should learn, then my suggestion is if you are a general learner, then choose simplified because it's much easier for beginners. But if you plan to visit or even live in Hong Kong or Taiwan, then choose the traditional version because that's what, what they use in daily life. And hands that actually have logic behind them actually comprised of a radical and a phonetic component. So I would recommend learning the radicals. You will learn everything so much faster if you know the radicals. You don't have to be able to write them, but should at least recognize the most common 100 or so. For example, if you know the radical of water, then it would be much easier to remember jiang, he, hu, hai, which are all related to water. And another thing is don't force yourself to remember the characters. Just use some imagination. I think a good way is to view the character as a painting. So imagine when a person slightly leans forward and claps the hands together, which is how traditional people greeting. Then it becomes the word ren. And when two people together, one follows another, becomes tong. Three people together becomes zhong. So it might be really helpful if you use imagination when you try to remember characters. But still, if you want to write Hanzi, then you need to practice and write a lot. Just use imagination as a help when you are trying to remember those characters. I know lots of people say that it's impossible to learn Mandarin, but I really disagree with that. Every single person can learn a new language. Mandarin is actually easy to learn once you are familiar with it. The grammar in Mandarin is so much easier than the grammar in Portuguese and English. And another thing is that it's really important to listen a lot. Maybe just let the conversation play in the background while you are cooking or doing laundry or cleaning. And don't stress about trying to understand each word. Just relax and do your thing and you will find out that maybe you understand lots of what's being said. So the point is increase the input and don't worry about how much you understand. Also, it can be really fun to use social media in China to use Chinese. Like you can use Xiaohongshu, Douyin, Weibo. You can use these apps when you are bored of learning in a traditional way. And you can also find people of similar age with similar interests, which can help you increase your vocabulary as well. So let me know in the comment section what's your experience with Mandarin. Do you think it's hard to learn or it's super easy for you? And if you find this video helpful, click like so I can create more videos around this topic. See you in my next video. Bye bye.